want that then bandha prabhu some outline towards the sutra in first <coughs> महाराज Shri Guru Govind Swami who is now seemingly past from this world uh I strongly believe in my heart that he is present with me now in Shri Guru Dev and I also believe that Shri Prabhupada is here as well uh first of all before <coughs> welcoming Shri Guru Dev here Guru Dev was saying in Mumbai that in order to worship the sadhu nicely you have to honor his right <coughs> so uh my heartly thanks go out to all of you who have uh, found it in your hearts to come all the way down here to melbourne when we first decided that we'd invite guru dave here uh yogi bar prabhu and myself had a bar prabhu uh we thought 20 people may come if we get crowded then 30 will be here so 50 beds are here so there's plenty of room. Uh when we were up in Mullumbar we told Guru Dave that oh we have a camp. 50 beds are there. He said, "Oh, only 50 beds." <laughs> so of course now nearly 70 or 80 devotees are here. So uh I'd like to personally and on behalf of all of the pre- devotees present here in this area welcome you all who are following Guru Dave around from wherever you're coming from. and uh inspiring us all and uh on your behalf I'd like you all to uh thank Shri Guru Dev for very mercifully coming down to this place uh he's been in uh, many warm countries and now he's come to Melbourne a little bit cooler here but we're hoping that the weather's going to fine up uh, for all of the devotees who have just come from Fiji and all the floods sorry about the weather last night but um, it was out of my hands let us know when as sir rudev had i here didn't start ah uh, yes <laughs> so if it rains again the, the weather forecast is fine for the next 3 days so if it rains again is his fault not mine <laughs> <laughs> so i just like to say something small uh for some of you that haven't met like we've done to the rain mars there's been some I won't say anything political but there has been some uh conception that Srila Gurudev is coming to steal all of Prabhupada's disciples away from Iskon. Well, he's doing that anyway, but that's not his mission. Actually, uh Gurudev was speaking in Mulumbar and after the class he, he was talking about how there is a Gaudiya Math and many maths are there, Keshava Gaudiya Math, Sri Saraswati Gaudiya Math. Giri Raj Gori Martin um, Mulumba and also probably part formed Iskon Gori Ma So this Iskon is actually part of the Gori Ma is part of Shila Bhakti's Danda Sarva Swati Thakur's mission to spread Krishna consciousness all over the world So we shouldn't think that there's a difference between the Gori Ma and Iskon for a start But unfortunately as time has gone by uh Shila Prabhupada's very wonderful movement has been stolen not by Shiva Narayan Maharaj but actually by some of Prabhupada's disciples just like I, I was thinking that in the time of Krishna Mathura was there very very wonderful place many many pastimes of Krishna were performed there but at one time one great king was there king Ugrashain and everything was very very beautiful but his son Kamsa I think Kamsa was his son yes <coughs> yeah So he thought this is why he's taking everything. So many things I could enjoy here. 
So let me bind him, throw him in the prison cell, and I will take this kingdom for my own. So he did that thing. And for many years, he harassed the devotees, harassed the brahmanas, anybody that had anything to do with pure Krishna consciousness, he would kill them. Or sent his <coughs> demons to kill them. So, after some time, Krishna had had enough. I can't sit and allow this to go on anymore. So, on the uh, trick of Kamsa to invite him to come to a wrestling match, Krishna said, yes, now is the time. So he came, and on the way, many demons were sent. Kavali Peter, Krishna killed them. Came to Mustaka, Mustaka, Krishna killed him, the wrestler. And the other one was... Chanura. Chanura. Gradually, gradually... Killed all these demons or, or obstacles that were put in his way. And then finally he took Kamsa, removed him from there, and re-established King Ugrashain as the Raj of the entire Mathura. And then everything became very nice again. So I was thinking in this way and then thinking actually in the same way. In the last 20 years, gradually, gradually, Prabhupada, some, not all, just one or two actually, has stolen Prabhupada's movement. They bound Prabhupada's in chain, poisoned him and thrown him in a prison cell. And now Prabhupada is still there. And many, many devotees have come to try and release Prabhupada. One of those was my beloved Gurudev. Of course, first I should honour Srila Bhakti Rakshaka Shiddha Maharaj, who tried very hard to help uh, Prabhupada's movement but unfortunately two things is that he wasn't allowed and also he left uh, quite some time ago now and so for the last number of years it's been very difficult in our Eastern society to develop pure Krishna Bhakti then my beloved Gurudev Srila Govinda Swami came and as Gurudev was saying yesterday preach very strong like a lion loud he used to preach and much politics was created against him. Many demons were sent to try and destroy him. But of course they couldn't touch him. Now he has left, apparently left this earthly realm. But now like Krishna came to reclaim Mathura. So I strongly believe that Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayana Maharaj has actually come not to steal people away from this God, but to re-establish Srila Prabhupada as the Raja of Iskon, and to re-establish pure devotional service and service to the sadhus as the basic principle of this Iskon society and the society of all the Vaishnavas. <laughs> the next three days, Srila Gurudev is going to be speaking, and many other great, very nice Vaishnavas are here. A very nice uh, siddhanta within them. They can give nice classes. Please take their association. Please, whatever uh, negativities you may have heard over the past years, leave them behind for the next three days and allow Srila Gurudev to enter your heart and at least give some indication of what real Krishna Bhakti is. So without further ado, I'd like to hand you all over. And uh, please... Welcome our beloved Srila Gurudev, Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj. Jagdish Prabhu, two minutes, two words. I want to say belts. This cat has gone. This cat has a little bit nervous. Anyway, the thing is, for millions of lifetimes, the living entity has been running in this material world, and uh, we've been kept prisoners here by the influence of uh, Maya. And the Guru, he comes along and he wakes us up. But a lot of people, they don't want to be woken up. They, they want to stay and sleep and snore comfortably in the nice thorny up of Maya. But Gurudev comes and he roars and he says, How long will you stay here, rotting in this world? 
So I remember on one morning walk, Srila Gurudev, he, he gave a nice uh, story. He told once that uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada had one disciple, Vinod Brahmachari. And uh, Prabhupada, he got a letter from Vinod Brahmachari's uh, mother saying that she was on a deathbed and um, she wanted to get darshan of Vinod Brahmachari before she, she left this world. That was her heartly desire. So uh, Prabhupada, he called Vinod Brahmachari and told him this, that your mother wants to see you. So when Vinod Brahmachari found out, he went and hid in a, in a dark room and he stayed there all day and all night chanting and crying that he, he didn't want to go and see his mother. And the next day Prabhupada inquired had Vinod Brahmachari gone there and he found out he hadn't gone and he called him to his room and he asked him, why hadn't you gone to see your mother? And Vinod Brahmachari didn't answer. Then again he asked him, he said, Gurudev, for so many lifetimes I've been in this world and finally I've come to your lotus feet. He said, had I gone to see my mother, then she might have told me stay in family life and look after everything and I would have had to have done that because it's a wish of my mother. So after coming and, and finding shelter in your lotus feet, how again I could go back to the material world. So in the same way, we're so fortunate to uh, come to the shelter of a pure devotee of the Lord. And he's our only friend in this world. If we try and make friends with anyone in this world, we'll always be cheated because the conditioned soul has that cheating mentality. But Guru Dave, he will never cheat us. He's the only well-wishing friend of all living entities. As Krishna is Shrudam Sava Bhutanam, the only well-wishing friend of all living entities, Srila Gurudev is truly a well-wishing friend. And he's equal to everyone. He's not partial, that he likes one more than other. He's like the rain, he showers down the mercy on everyone. So we're so fortunate to come to his divine lotus feet today. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Also, my Dhanda Pranam in the Lotus Sita, Sri Gaur Govind Maharaj, my dear Vaishnavas, my daughters and sisters. I am very happy to come again in Australia in Melbourne. No. Melbourne. And especially to this place. I am returning from Fiji teaching about 
सनातन धर्म फ्रॉम बिगिनिंग सो ओनली दैट थिंग सर्वधर्मान परित्यजमा एक वॉट इज रेडिशन वॉट इज सनातन धर्म ऑल दीज थिंग्स बट इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया और इन इंग्लैंड एस्पेशली इन ब्रेड ब्रज इन कैलिफोर्निया एंड एस्पेशली इन और नॉट प्रीचिंग लाइक दिस देर और प्रीचिंग ऑफ कंजुगल लव हाउ यू कैन अटेन वट इज दैट थिंग हु आर श्री चैतन्य महापुरु हु आर नित्यानंद गुरु वट आर देयर मिशन ऑब्जेक्ट टू कम टू दिस वर्ल्ड So I have come here only to give the same thing which Rup Goswami brought from Guru Vrindavan in the guidance of Sri Nityananda Prabhu, in the guidance of Sri Salut Damodar and Raya Ramanand, in the guidance of Sri Lakshmi Goswami. That very thing. First of all. We should know that we are Gaur family. We are in Gaur family, not this section, that section. We want to take off all the walls and barriers, everything within us, and to realize that. We are in non-family, in low family. Sarup Damodar, Raya Mananda, lying, especially Rupa Nuga Vaishnav, in the line of Rupa Nuga Vaishnav. So we have brought something from them to distribute also here. What is our object of our devotion? Not only primary things like distribution of books, making of <coughs> temples, making of forms, so big, big forms, one thousand acre form, having so much cows, so many schools, but where, where they are now? So we should learn that what is our mission of a life? What is the goal of our life? For what purpose? Sri Bhakti Vedam Swami Maharaj has come not to give all these things. From unqualified persons, he has done to engage their intelligence and Power, energy, only because he knew that if he is getting this thing, they cannot take it. To make them so energetic all time, because they normally they are body power, mental power. So engage them, and gradually they will come to this line. What is Braja Prema? What is Gopi friend? I thought that in my <laughs> evening class we will explain Chaitanya Chaitra Amrit, Adi Lila, third and fourth chapter, 
with the explanations of Swamiji, Bhakti Vedanta Swami. So that we are all in that same line. So many devotees telling that, oh Narayan Maharaj is some different line from Srila Prabhupada. But I think they are, they are perhaps derailed from the line of Swamiji. Still they are not realizing this fact, fact and that is why it's about 95. 95 or 99, Nine. all these Sanyasis and Sanyas devotees have given us. And those who were senior and sincere Vaishnavas, Vaishnav, they left. They are drawing now. Their notes are drawing. They but Anku, Sprout or Sprouts are going for. So Samiji has left, sent me, inspired me to come and to help the devotees. <coughs> I have no self gain, nothing I want to help them. Because why? Why you are so much anxious for them? Why you are worried? Hmm? Anyone can tell. Oh, Swamiji, in his last day, he told me that you should help my devotees. I brought them like monkeys. I could not train them so much. And you should always help them. I told that your order is in my head. I have served you so much and you have you are so much pleased to give me your service. And I think that I am so much fortunate to carry your orders. So much. So in my whole life I will try to carry your orders. You know that he told that after my departure from this world he used to give my samadhi and I did. He told that my this body should not touch anyone and he used to give me samadhi. With Vedic mantra, mantra and everything. Vedic rule. And I did so. He told me so many things that I cannot. Disclose. Tell, disclose all these things, how many things. That was recorded in any cassette, but they destroyed or I don't know what they did. <coughs> so I have come only to carry the orders of Swamiji Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj. I am also so much indebted to Gaur Gaur Govind Maharaj. He met me in his last days in Jagannath Puri and we talked very friendly and he was so much happy to meet me and he told that really I wanted to meet you from a long time but I was present like, I was controlled but now I have come from Bhaneshwar and after this he went to Mayapur and me left this planet. But he has given his whole <coughs> senior devotees to me. I see. So I am debted to him that his most senior devotees, disciples, he gave to me. And gradually more seniors are coming to me. So they are helping in my preaching everywhere. So I am indebted to this Mahapurush Swamiji also, Gopadhi Maharaj. So we should <coughs> try to be having no malice in heart. Even for anyone, like Maharaj Yudhishthi, he was Ajata Shatru. Ajatasatra means? No enemy. No enemy. No enemy. No enemy is born in his life. He 
always saw all like friends. He never told Duryodhan. He used to utter Suyodhan. Suyodhan. Susasan. Not Dushasan. But they used to think that, oh, he is my enemy. All are fun, all are enemy. But he never. Never. So we are followers of Haridas. You Dhrishti Maharaj is Haridas. Mangalajar Haridas. And Giraj Govardhan? Haridas of Arjya. Uddhava is Haridas but And Kofi is a Kali. Giraj Maharaj. Giraj Maharaj. Haridas. Anyone can go to Giraj Maharaj. He will not tell that, oh, you should go. <laughs> Even enemies can come. Demons can come. He will not return to them. Oh, what you want and he will give. So we should be like that. If anyone do it. Opposing us, no harm. If there is no opposition, no pressure. I think. So, gradually we will discuss all these things. But I want also something from you. I want that you should follow the first sloka of Manasiksha. If you want to really to enter in Bhakti realm, you should try to follow this very strongly. And if you are not following this, then nothing to say. So, what is that? Guru Goshe Gostha Vaisu Sujane Bhu Surgane Sre Sonamani Vati Dvadanda Sarani Sadadamma Mitva Puru Ratim Apurmam Patitaram Ae Sadarada Sarani Dhirapada Yes, give your yes to me. Guru Devali wants, pure devotee wants what? Yeah. Not wealth. I have not come for wealth. But I really, I have come to give some a sprinkle of that pure wealth of Guru Pindar. So Guru Dev Bhartmans or Guru Dev or Srila Prabhupada used to tell this, that I want your ears yeah. and I will purify them. And from this, your heart. I will purify your hearts. Try to see Krishna, Gurudev, Jugal, Mahaprabhu, Navdikta, Vrindavanda, Purida, through ears, not by eyes. We try to see it, to take darshan by eyes only. This is very beautiful. We want to know all the epics, Srimad Bhagavatam and Chaitanya Chaitanya, by our senses and eyes. But our Gurudev has told, Srila Prabhupada, our line, disciple line has told, that you should read Srimad Bhagavatam through years. You should take darshan of Vaishnavas, Gurudev, and did it. Read not by how it can be, or it can be possible. By hearing, don't try to read Srimad Bhagavatam. First you should Anushriyat Jav. Dikriditam Prajupadvi Idancha Vishnu Anushriyat Sadhanya Sadhya Sadhanito Anushriyat Athavarna Yajya. Anushriyat, then Varna Yajya. First Samadam, then Kirtanam. Hmm? All the use this first. If you are reading Srimad Bhagavatam, not in first hearing and not in guidance of any Rashik, Mahabhagavatam, Bhav, Tattvagya, then you will understand different things. And that is going on in this. 
all are reading. And what they are reading, more than that they are writing. Oh, so many books, 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 books. Have to write books. In a moment they can write a book. <laughs> what it is, I don't know. Imagination. Full, full of opposite siddhans. Excupulation. So we should not, or oh, don't try to write so much. Don't try to read so much. Don't try to see by these senses and eyes. First hear. First hear. Those who don't want to hear from here and to use mouth to only only giving instruction to others, only controlling others. So I want that you should give your ears to me, and I will try to give, up, give you all these things gradually. Time is very short, only three days, four days. From today, four today, days. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and Monday morning, weekend. And especially tomorrow, we are lucky to observe Nityananda Prabhu. <coughs> Tomorrow? Tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow. Very good. We will do. I wanted that also we should observe our best puja. Gurudev. It is not here. But we cannot do. I wanted that among devotees I wanted. They can all write something. So I wanted that I should observe my Gurudev Vyas Puja in here within oh, all the devotees. But we will be that at Singapore. So we should try to remember first test of today and then we will gradually in morning all these things Upadesh Amritam Sikhastaka Manashiksha Upadashamrit, Sikshamrit, Manashiksha and Sikshasiksha. Very good Sikham for Bhakti. And in the evening, see, Chaitanya Chaitamrit. And so many things in that. So, Guru Bande in it. Guru 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 Why we should or man should serve Guru Dev? Why? Why we should serve? Has he given anything? Has he given any wealth? Will he give any wealth, worldly wealth or anything? Any kingdom or what he will So we should know what is Gurudev. Who is Gurudev? In Bhakti Sami Sindhu it has been told. First Diksha from Gurudev, initiation. If you have Shraddha. Adho Shraddha Tata Sadhu Sangha Tato Anartha Nivritti Nishtha Ruchi Asakti Then So if there is no Guru, you may have Shraddha. What is Shraddha? This is the seed of Bhakti Latari, Bhakti Kripa. But it is called Shraddha. But what is Shraddha really? If you are hearing from any one of five devotees here and there, <coughs> that if the desire to serve Kanjugal, 
if anyone is giving the desire to serve Radha Krishna conjugal in a lovely way, with love and affection, this is the real seed of Bhakti Lata. And its symptom is like Sadha, but he will have so much strong faith in his guru words, in Vaishnava words, and the words of epics. And especially when Upanishad, Vedanta, Puran, Mahabharata, Ramayana, and among it, Srimad Bhagavatam, based. If you have Shabda in this thing, in the words of your Gurudev, Vaishnava and Ethics. And <coughs> next symptom is that if anyone chastise me, whole worldly against me, if any cuts me in pieces, but I cannot give up. Never I can. This is Sadhana. Now you can take this yantra. Instrument. Instrument. And see. Keep it in your heart. And see whether we have this kind of Sadhana or not. That if whole world will be against me, but I will never give up the desire for serving Krishna. Though I have so many unwanted things, anatha. So Gurudev is giving this seed. And if there were no seed like this, no bhakti at all. So if anyone has a sattā, very strong faith like this, then this is pārmārthaki sattā, not logical, not worldly. Hmm? So we should have, try to have this <coughs> pārmārthaki sattā. And if this sattā comes from devotees, pure devotees, then he will such fact to go. How to have this deshi? Really? Then he will search and see. He will hear. Who is Gurudev? Who can give me deshi? Really? <coughs> he goes here and there. Like mad. You know that God Govind Maharaj in his early days? Hmm? Like moving, moving, Gurudev, Gurudev, here, here. Hmm? Like bewildered. Yes. <coughs> I also, from my beginning of life, I used to chant Krishna name, especially Ram, 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 Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 <laughs> like this. And my age of sixteen. I was fortunate to hear Srimad Bhagavat from a very bona fide guru for one month. At that time I had no taste in Srimad Bhagavatam, had taste something in chanting. But when I used to hear Srimad Bhagavat, oh, like this. <laughs> but quickly, <coughs> sleepiness went on. I thought that Vaishnava who was speaking on Bhagavatam, I used to clear the place where Srimad Bhagavatam, I used to carry Srimad Bhagavatam on my head with that uh, Srimad Bhagavatam Bhakta. Speaker. Speaker. And I used to bring so many all devotees, giving invitations, all you should come. Always in guest. One month I never went to school and anywhere. I was in guest in that service. Now I'm thinking, why I came in this 
How? Yeah, these things. And then I began to search my Gurudev, like Gaur Govinda Maharaj. Where to go? Where to find? Where to go? Really there was thirst. And then quickly Krishna arranged, he sent his mission. A party of my Gurudev preaching. They met me. And there also Srimad Bhagavatam for seven days, Prahlad Upakhan. Bhakti Kamal Vasudan Maharaj. The Bikam Maharaj was at, in that party. Nasham Maharaj and so on. Very strong devotees. And I heard and I served them. And quickly left work. And at once I came to Navadi in the place of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Not so merciful. Shekatha Suniya. Asya China, Asya Oh Mahaprabhu, you are so merciful. Jagai Madai and all has come and been settled liberated and was were given bhakti. So I have come to and Mahabharshali, wonderfully my Guru they have accepted me. So Krishna and all these things. Don't try to do or yourself anything. You should surrender only, sarva dharma anupat. And you will see that Krishna is arranging everything. And then he taught me so many things. So first Guru Padasha. Guru is not Krishna, but in other sense Guru is Krishna. What Krishna? Asraya Krishna. Asraya Krishna. So Rupa Goswami has told, why to serve Gurudev? He is not conjugal, he is not Mahaprabhu. Oh, he can give. So we should go and take shelter there. And then by initiation he will give relation and that Krishna in mantra. So if you are not serving strongly Guru Dev, then you are of no fear at all. There is no bhakti at all. So ten uh, first angsa bhakti. Flames of Lips, lips, or ten, what are they? Can you tell? Guru Padasha, Guru Padasha, Diksha, Guru Aseva, Sadhama Pritsha Shiksha, Sadhu Maragadu Gaman. Then, Vishambhena Gaurav Sheva. Sadhanki. First this. And after that Krishna will come or Mahaprabhu. So, Gurau Koshthe, Gurau first. But those who have seen, they have told me, Oh, you should come to this way. And he is your Guru. They are Path Pradasha Guru. Way Swain Guru. And then, Shavan Guru. Shavan Guru, something. Tell him this, that, that. Then Diksha Guru. Then Shiksha Guru. Don't differentiate between Shiksha Guru and Diksha Guru. Diksha Guru is Diksha Guru, Shiksha Guru. And Shiksha Guru may be Diksha Guru. Sometimes more than Diksha Guru, Shiksha Guru. And sometimes Diksha Guru may be more superior than. Like Rupa Goswami, our Shiksha Guru. Sanatana Goswami, like Diksha Guru. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu or Shiksha Guru. Krishna is Shiksha Guru. And most, our most high class of Shiksha Guru who? Lalita Vishakha. Shiksha So Vishakha, Shiksha, this line. So, Guru Goshthe. That if you have no Affection, no love, no so strong shraddha in Gurudev. Your face is so like dal dal. Very weak. Very weak. So you should best man first. And this is the service of Gurudev. By all senses, by heart, by love and affection, by all means. 
And if your Guru Nishtha is very weak, you cannot enter. If your Guru Dev is falling always, one by one by one by one, ten Guru falls, then what is your life? So, our Guru should be like this. If any Guru does not give Krishna friend, or does not give so strong faith in Krishna conjugal or Mahaprabhu, <coughs> oh, at once we should reject that Guru. He takes everything, our money and everything, all wealth, but not giving anything. Guru will never want any wealth or reputation or anything. So, if Guru is weak, always going down, then we should try to change at once that Guru. Because we are given our soul and everything for Krishna conjugal, not for a person, lusty person or anything, weak person, never. So we should be very strong in this. We want Krishna Prem only. The object of our object is <coughs> Gau Prema. Today, now so what I need to be I want that devotee should not sit idle. I think everything is managed well. Try to help devotees in management also. And also try to come in morning. I may come daily for four days in morning also, giving classes like half an hour or one hour. And you should again see second time after ten, ten to twelve, and classes. In that class, Urukam Prabhu, Prem Prajan Prabhu, or Prajnat Prabhu, Devanda Prabhu. And there are so many qualified devotees here. This Andari Prabhu. Andari, Krishna Prabhu, so many. They can give classes or Nanda instruction Kishore. of Nanda Kishore, Nanda Kishore Prabhu also. <coughs> Instruction of nectar of instruction. This Sri Kashkar, Upadesh Amrit and all that. You should try to discuss in your classes. And third sitting, myself, but I may tell anyone to help me because continuous two hours I cannot speak for me. So, Five. Five to 
Seven. It, it will be okay? Five to, five five. to seven? Yeah. All can come? Yes, and no one is working here. No one is working, everyone is here. <laughs> so you should be, so that from five to seven. seven, it will be very helpful for me. And then you can take, you can chant her name all night or what you want. I want that you should fix a number here. Not less than sixteen. I think that more than sixteen. Twenty rounds of who are elder. And those who are very new five. Sixteen. And the uh, one, eight or four what they can do. So we should fix a number. In four days we should regulate our all these things. Coming in, proper arti and doing chanting name, hearing Hari Katha more, and if time something you can read from Srimad Bhagavatam, Gita, or Srimad Bhagavatam. But all this in case. Be free from lust and all other desires. Very like Brahmachari here, Brahmachari here. Mm -hmm. Try to hmm, not to be uh, what? Ashakti. Attached. 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 Try to give, give up attachment. But your duty should be there. Serving of devotees. If wife and husband is here, they should think that we are servant of Krishna. Like this. Oh, the boys are who? Boys are Krishna servant. So we must help them, serve them. In this way, not by uh, asakti. Attachment. Attachment. And thus, in four days we should try to regulate our body. Go, Prama. Oh, I want, I, uh, 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 what? I pray all the body request. request that sometimes I, um, I make him come and, uh, and I will check whether the bodies are serving or not there in kitchen helping. So you should. And if not, I will see, then I am very straight. Yes. <laughs> I had a very short knife. And, 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 and also my danda. You know, my danda is very famous. <laughs> More than Gautobindu Maharaj. <laughs> like this. <laughs> so, you should be always there. I don't want that anyone this should be lazy. lazy. No. Go for the Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare.
फॉरवर्ड ही हे शुड कम फॉरवर्ड